Hi everyone, here are 30 travel tips and hacks that will make your travel so much easier and save money. I've been to over 20 countries and here are all the best tips that I have accumulated over the years. Download your media before you get on the flight. I always like to download some music, YouTube videos, and podcasts so that I have something to entertain myself when I'm bored on the flight. Liquids in a plastic bag. Make sure to put all your liquid toiletries in a plastic bag of some sort. There have been times when my shampoo and conditioner leaked all over my bag and it's such a pain to clean it up. So even if it happens to leak, at least it stays within the plastic bag. Wear your heaviest clothes if you're worried you might have to pay extra because of the weight limit for the check bags. When I was going to Korea in the winter, I was a bit worried my bag is getting too heavy, so I just wore my heaviest winter jacket. Get a card without a foreign transaction fee. A lot of cards that you use, whether it's a credit card or a debit card, will charge a 3% foreign transaction fee on top of whatever it is you are purchasing. Even though 3% may not seem that big, it definitely adds up. I personally use K Sapphire Preferred, but there are many other cards available like Platinum Card from American Express. Keep a digital copy of important documents like your passport, visa, and flight tickets. You can print physical copies if you'd like, or save an offline copy on your phone that you can access without internet access because you never know what's going to happen. In case you lose your bag or your passport gets stolen, it definitely helps to prove who you are. Save places on Google Maps. You can save all different places you are interested in going to on Google Maps. This really helps not only to remember the places, but by seeing them on a map, it makes it so much easier to group things and plan out your trip efficiently. Carry emergency cash. There have been times when I traveled to a new country and the public transportation system did not accept my card, and times when restaurants were cash only. There are layers. The temperature in the cabin is sometimes really cold, sometimes really hot, so it's nice to have layers so you can easily throw on an extra jacket or take it off. This leads to my next tip, wear zip-ups without a hood. This isn't a must, but I personally like wearing jackets with a zipper without a hood because it's easier to put on and off than a hoodie, especially if you're flying economy and you're kind of squished. I also find that having a hood in the back is kind of annoying when I lean back, so I find zip-ups without a hood to be the best. Seat strategy. If you're someone who likes to stretch out your legs, walk up the aisle, or go to the bathroom whenever you want, then try to get a seat in the aisle section in the middle section of the plane. So if you look at this example, Example, many international flight planes will have three seats on the left side, three seats on the right side, and three or four seats in the middle. I would suggest going for this aisle seat instead of this one because if someone sitting on this middle seat wants to use the bathroom, then they can go either way. Versus if you sit on this aisle seat, you'll have to get up every time these two passengers want to get up. Download Google Translate. This will help you deal with the language barrier, especially if you're going to less touristy places where English, where the language you speak, isn't commonly used. You can type or say whatever you want to translate. It also has a camera feature which uses your phone camera to translate any form of text. Carry a travel adapter. Different countries use different types of plug points that might or might not be compatible with your electronic gadgets. With a universal adapter, you don't have to worry about the type of plug points or carrying a country-specific converter. So it's a good idea to invest in a universal adapter that works across different countries. I'll leave the link to all the products that I mentioned in this video in the description below in case you're interested. Pack a travel first aid kit. I like to carry some basic medication like painkillers, stomach remedies, and band-aids in a small pouch, and it will be super helpful in case of minor health issues. Medications can have different names in different countries, and finding some medications without a prescription can be an issue in some countries, so I recommend carrying a basic first aid kit. Avoid exchanging currency at the airport. Even though it can be convenient to exchange right at the airport, avoid doing it unless necessary. Airport exchange rates are known to be really bad. I would instead exchange money at a bank or at some reputable place in the city. But if you need to exchange some money at the airport because the shuttle bus only accepts cash or something, I usually exchange only the minimum amount. An anti-theft bag is a clever investment. If you'll be visiting places with large crowds and you're worried about pickpocketing, I definitely recommend an anti-theft bag. 
I've used this one I got on Amazon through many crowded places and haven't lost a single thing. Some of you may think it's not the most stylish but I think it's better than losing anything and there are ones that look just like normal bags so I'll leave some links in the description below. Take photos of everything important. The condition of the rental when you pick it up, drop it off, receipts if you're going to be reimbursed, we're splitting costs, Wi-Fi passwords, and so on. When I drive, I used to take picture of where I parked because if you're parking at an airport parking lot for a couple of days by the time you come back from your trip it's hard to remember where you've actually parked add another 10 to 20 percent to your budget in case of emergency you might have a budget planned out on how much you're going to spend on food hotels etc on your trip but emergencies can happen like something gets canceled or the price changes so it's nice to have a bit of buffer just in case pack extra plastic or ziploc bags for your dirty clothes and shoes there are times i can't do laundry during a trip and I don't like getting my dirty clothes mixed with fresh ones so it's a good idea to have extra plastic or ziploc bags to separate them. Bring a pen. If you'll be traveling internationally you'll most likely have to fill out custom forms on the plane so bring a pen so you don't have to ask around and borrow from other passengers. Tie a ribbon or strap on your luggage. After a long flight you'll most likely want to grab your luggage and get out of the airport as swiftly as possible. If you're planning on checking back Making your bags easily recognizable by tying a bright ribbon or a colorful luggage strap will help you spot them easily. Bring your own snacks. Buying food at the airport can be very expensive. You cannot bring liquids in containers larger than 100 milliliters on the flight, but you can bring your own snacks on the flight as long as they're not liquids. So bring some granola bars, peanuts, or a snack of your choice if you know you're going to get hungry. Keep electronics and liquids easy to access. When you pack your carry-on bag, make sure to put your electronics and liquids right at the top where you can easily find them. You don't want to be digging through your bag to find where they are, especially when you get to the front of the line in security. You'll have to put these items in a separate tray when going through security, so placing them somewhere where you can easily access them will make the security process go smoothly. Create a frequent flyer account in every airline you travel with. There's no reason not to. If you don't, you'll be missing out on valuable miles that could potentially be put towards your next flight. Be aware of hidden luggage costs. Cheaper airlines might look like the best option, but they're too good to be true after you add all the extra costs. You'll typically need to pay extra if you want to check bags, choose your seats, get some food on the plane, etc. So just be aware of these extra costs. Choose your drinks wisely. Be sure to drink lots of water to stay hydrated during your trip. I personally avoid alcohol on flights as it can speed up dehydration and could lead to fuzzy start of your vacation. And I heard carbonated drinks can cause discomfort for some people because of the bubbles combined with the changes in air pressure. Do not convert currencies when purchasing. If you use your credit card or debit card overseas, you'll sometimes see the option to convert to your home currency or leave it in local foreign currency. If you select to convert to your home currency, you'll typically have to pay more fees as the conversion will be done twice. Check your passport expiration date. Have at least six months before expiration on your passport because countries can deny you entry if your passport doesn't have at least six months. So make sure to renew your passport ahead of time. Pack important belongings in your carry-on. You've probably heard of check-in luggage getting lost, so I would recommend putting all your essentials and anything valuable in your carry-on in case there's an issue with your checked luggage so that you don't have to waste your time and money shopping for lost items and not ruin your travel itinerary just in case your checked luggage gets lost. Be flexible and save money. If you want to find cheap flights, it's best to be flexible. When your dates aren't set in stone, you can use the flexible date search option in Google Flights to see which dates offer the cheapest tickets. Just go to Google Flights, enter your origin and destination, then click on the travel date. Use the trip duration setting to choose your desired trip length or play around to see if the trip length affects the ticket price. The lowest price tickets will be shown in green. Waterproof jewelry. If you're someone like me who likes jewelry but doesn't want to work 
worry about tarnishing or losing them during the trip, I highly recommend waterproof jewelry that you will never have to take off. The two necklaces that I layered, bracelets, and these earrings I'm currently wearing are from a brand called Atolia, and they are waterproof and tarnish-free. I've worn them in water, sweat, and heat, and it's in perfect condition. If you wear jewelry that you have to take off while showering or going to the beach because it might tarnish, you might forget and leave them behind in the hotel room, which would be really sad. Atolia did gift me these pieces, but I'm not getting paid to say this. These genuinely became my go-to jewelry pieces, especially when traveling. Those are all my 30 travel tips and hacks. Please let me know in the comments if you found it helpful or have any additional tips. Please like and subscribe for more useful travel videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!